All right, popular kids book authors and illustrators who also happen to be husband and wife have a new children's book out just in time for the holidays. Uh, Caravelle Dredgy and Darren uh, Bredgy, Bredgy with a B, not a D, they're here to talk about Bigfoot and the Mitten. Yes. Hey, yes. good morning. Thanks good for coming morning. in. Thank you for having us. Um, so this is fun. You have a lot of books here. Bigfoot yep. and the Mitten, that's the new one. Uh, how many titles do you have? 13. 13, look at that. Yeah. Uh, isn't that cute? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you've been doing this for a little while. Um, how did it come to be? And also, you guys are comedians. Mm -hmm. yep. You're improv. How do you take that? I imagine you have to put that in the books to a certain extent. How does well, that kind of process unfold? It helps. Yeah. It absolutely does because our books, part of it is to get kids to read. We want them to enjoy it and we want them to laugh. So we throw our comedy in the books and we banter it back and forth and go around and what's funny works. Sure. So. Well, what's funny to one may not be for another. You guys right. have a kid, right? So I guess you have a sounding board. Yes. Right, yeah, and, and for the little ones too, we do a lot of school visits and everything, so we wanted to make sure we had enough funny stuff visually and with the writing yeah. to kind of go with that. Okay, so Bigfoot in the Mitten, yes. the Mitten, Michigan, it's mm -hmm. all about Michigan. You talk a lot about um, the different attractions across the state. You hit home a lot in Southeast Michigan. How did you find yourself on this particular topic? I noticed uh, your topics seem to range, but in general, you have a whole lot of monsters. It is. Yeah. It's monsters. It's crypto. Well, I'll tell you, I always wondered uh, about aliens and Bigfoot. And when I started researching, it, it was so funny and fun and like, do you believe it? Do you not? And so we talked about it and we said this would be a perfect topic. It'll pull kids in. It's interesting. Yeah. Roswell crash happened 20 years before I was born, so I had to write about okay, it. Okay, it's in your blood, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We started with the Mick Morris series. We named after our son, Mick, and each one features five with different endings. So that's kind of the improv thing as well, because there's always a normal and scary ending, but the other endings will change. We actually have an improv ending with questions only in one. We have like a talk show ending in one. So I just want to make sure, so these, the Mick series, yes. mm -hmm. is in a sense, choose your own adventure? In a sense, yeah. In a sense. Ours is five ways to finish, and what we do is they read to a page and instead of having to flip back and forth and lose their place, they just read to a page and they can pick the ending. They always have normal and scary, but the other endings change. Oh, that's key. Yes. Because kids, yeah. yeah, some kids dig the scary, others, yeah, yeah not so much. Right. And these, of course, what we just talked about, those are chapter books, kind of older yeah, kids. Third, fourth, fifth grade. Bigfoot right. in the Mitten. I was able to make my way through it this morning, so yes. adults can read it. What age are we looking at? I mean, is this... Well, if you read to them, so three, four years old, up through second, and one of the things we put in the back were all the facts about Michigan because in third, second and third grade they have to know about their state so we included all that. Yep. And You're helping us with homework through the books. Yes. And we made it funny. We made Bigfoot goofy and the Robin sassy and they go around the whole state. They can't find the mitten. He's looking for his mitten and finally they go to Lansing for some help and the clerk pulls down the map and, and it says... it turns out he didn't lose his mitten after oh, all. Oh, you guys gave it away. He did his dad. We spoiled oh, it. I didn't oh, know. Well, no, hey, it's your book. You're the authors. I just, I didn't see it coming. Yes. Yeah. I said, oh, well done, you guys. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, so good job. His mitten. All right, uh, so uh, these are the locations in which we can find your uh, Monster Myth books? Oh, yeah. Right? Northfield, South Lion, Fenton. Yes. Barnes and Noble yeah. stores, you can get them, or from monstermyths.com, which is our website. Our website. Mm -hmm. Well, this was a real joy. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. We Thank appreciate you. it so much. Nice meeting you. Uh, I guess that is it for us. Uh, hey, Dee, over to you.